Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Lucha FM. Hope we're all having a lovely evening today. Uh, hello, Josh, if he's in there already. Uh, this quickly. I'll load up the uh, Newcastle save. Halfway through my season two of my Wrens save. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to load up the Newcastle save now and we'll get started. Mild day today, not as cold as it was yesterday, but still bloody cold, isn't it? Right, so four days time, we play Liverpool. We are currently fifth in the league. We went on a bit of a bad run last uh, last stream, but hopefully we can turn things around. So uh, yeah, we ended it with a four nil loss to. Villa in the first leg of the EFL Cup. He had a player sent off. I can't remember who it was now. Hartman, wasn't it? I think it was Hartman. No. Yeah, it was Hartman. He got two yellow cards in the, sp in the first half. Killed the game for us, basically. So, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll just assume we're not going to win uh, the second leg. And, that, and we'll just concentrate on the next three games here in the Premiership. And then we've got Villa in the semi-final second round after losing 4-0 and then we've got Brighton in the FA Cup fourth round so hopefully we can do well in that yeah let's get forward a bit forward a bit on here how is everyone today feel free to say hello in the chat if you're here give me a whoop whoop Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we'll definitely take that deal for Brahim Diaz. Um, oh, no, we won't actually. He's rated at 39 million. And so only offered us 25. Hmm. Cost us 9.25. Let's see if we can get 30 million for him. Try 30 million. Ah, that's a shame. All right. Yeah, of course you're not happy. We understand. Right. You put in a transfer request. Okay, that's fine. Let's offer you out again. Uh, can we do that? No, we can't. We'll wait. Yeah, so I've started a bit early today. Um, just to do three hours instead of two. So what I'm probably going to try and do moving forward is three or four times a week, I'm going to do three hours. Um, because um, I'm probably not going to be streaming on Friday, so there might be one day in the week for whatever reason I'm not streaming. But I will let you know each week when I won't, when I will be, and won't be. So yeah, so I'm probably just going to go to my um, partner's house on Friday because um, she actually has central heating and it's really cold in my flat. Or I won't be streaming when I'm there. So. Tomorrow will be the last day of the week. I'll be streaming. Then I'll be back on it on Monday. And I'll let you know as the week goes on when I'll be streaming. There's no point me doing a schedule because every week's different. And I don't want to let people down. So people who are regular to the streams will, you know, they'll, uh, they'll know when, I'm, when I am and when I'm not. And I also post on my Twitter as well and Facebook. Um, I need to do Facebook, actually. Uh, Full stuff there, I don't. Facebook, there we go. Yeah, did, did, did. Right, okay.
Right, that's that done. So there we go. Anybody in the chat? Feel free to say hello. Josh, are you in yet? Josh is actually having to do some work for a change. No joking, Josh. Um, I've had an offer for Mbappe. We don't want to sell Mbappe. But. Right, try and offer out Diaz again. Hopefully, we can get a decent offer for him. Um, it's annoying that they're down value at twenty five. No, we didn't. We didn't ask you to do that. So, okay. Right, so thirty million. He's now rated that. If we can get. 20% of the next deal. Be happy with that. Board have accepted our requests for certain things. Uh, get better stuff. I don't know what I'm humming away. I don't know what I'm singing away to, by the way. Just making up my own song in my head. Quite catchy there. So yeah, so I'm finally um this the rest of this week. Hopefully, let's have a look. Let's see if I can get the whole season done. Uh I've got three hours today. I should be able to get to about this point, hopefully, or further. If I can get to this part here, the seventh of the third, and then we just mm, come on, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. I want to try and get this season done by the end of this week and then I'll assess whether I do another season or I just go I'm, I've done what I needed to do I've won the Premiership it would have been nice to win the the Champions League but, but not not don't always happen like that so um, yeah I will see getting yeah, injury so which is annoying because we've got very good fitness coaches and very good physios. And it's just part and parcel of the game. Right, we've got our first game coming up of the stream. Stop making offers from Vape, you're not having him. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cancel that. Have the money. I think I'm getting somewhere with me Rafe Rover thumbnails. Um, hopefully. Uh, getting some much needed feedback from the Cy Games community. Um, always appreciate it. I'm annoying the hell out of certain usernames on that I won't mention but I apologize sir oh, yeah all right then our first game is Trubin we got his lineup we've got Trubin and goal KO Day as right back Diomande and Inecio as the centre backs Botman as a left back Nani and Joe Linton in the mid middle of midfield, Messi on the right, Una on the in the middle with Pedro Gonzalez and then Austin Hen up front. It's probably what probably our strongest team. The only thing I would say is Bruno is probably slightly better than Joe Linton. Um and then left back would probably be better. We had a left back there, but I think the injuries. Um better make do. Yeah, let's see how we get on against Liverpool. Hopefully we'll beat them and we can get back on track. I want to try and get... If I can get top four this season, I will probably do another season just to see how we get on in the Champions League. Liverpool are quite strong. We've, we've got, like I said, these Man City and Liverpool and, and that have got a game ahead of us. If Liverpool beat us, that's going to make it even harder for us. 
Liverpool are probably a better team overall. Oh, I'll say that. And then Austin them scores. There you go. Worked in my favour. Almost as if I meant to do that. Right, I'm trying to keep as much stuff away from my mic as possible so I don't knock it off because annoyingly I would have to then restart the whole computer and restart FM. Dodgy. Um, we're top. Yeah, we're in the top four now if we win this, but plenty of time to play yet. I think I think Liverpool's got a goal or two in them. But yeah, gonna do well there. Messi, the goat, still showing us how it's done. Oh, there we go. Oh, nearly. Messi, the corner. All right, so that's the end of the first half. I'm happy with a 1-0 win. I would accept that at this point in the season against a team like Liverpool. But a throw in. Be nice to get another goal, settle the nerves a bit, because I think a team like Liverpool, you need to get at least two goals to actually like win the game. Botman to Tenali. Tenali with a beautiful pass to Messi. Turns it to uh, Kayode. Kayode passes it in. Good, 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 good. That's what we like to see, but the referee's going to be a spoiler sport here. He's going to, and VAR's going to rule it out, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, goal awarded. Excellent. It's almost if I say the opposite. If I say the opposite that I want, the opposite happens. There you go. Use reverse psychology, people. Works every time. All right, Josh. Afternoon. I'm good. I'm okay. How are you? How's work today? Are you, uh, are you, have you been doing any work or have you just been skiving, trying to avoid it? Oh no, tonsillitis, that's not good, mate. You went off, bloody been unlucky with the illnesses lately. Yeah, you're bloody cursed. You think it's, um, you think your immune system's buggered because of everything that you've been through? You might want to look into improving your immune system. I take all sorts of, um, multivitamins and stuff like that, and I very rarely get a cold. And this is like, I'm living in a flat with no central heating, and yet I haven't been ill all year. Um, so it, you, you might want to look at boosting your immune system in some way. Yeah, have a look at, there's, th there's things you can eat to just boost up your immune system. Look into that. Yeah, or just take some, do you take, do you take any supplements like multivitamins and stuff like that? Might work if you're just taking, but not massively. I mean, you can just take a tub, like a tub of multivitamins. You can get um, three months worth for like less than 10 quid or something like that. So, yeah, have a, yeah, the flu jab will protect you to a certain point. But, um, yeah, just start taking vitamins. I take about, I mean, I'd probably go overboard with it, but I, I take all sorts. When I get a chance, I'll, at some point later today, I'll Google, I'll, um, I'll send you a message on WhatsApp and I'll let you know which ones I take. But I'd, I take multivitamins um, and I take other things as well just to boost it all up, but it works a treat. And uh, I mean, it might just be coincidence. I might just have a very good immune system. But um, since I've been taking them, I, I very rarely get a cold. But I ha also, I have got the, uh, the flu jab. I've had the flu jab and the COVID booster jab, so I have that every year. Yeah, I am, mean, mate. I'm absolutely smashing Liverpool. I thought they beat me, so... I'm I'm well happy with this. Um, yeah, hello to everybody else in the chat. Feel free to join in the chat. Let us know where you're from, who you're managing on Football Manager. Josh, did you figure out who you're going to manage on Football Manager in the end? Did you did you start a save with sort of ego? Yes, great, great header there. Is it going to be allowed? I mean, we've been very lucky with VAR on this game. We've had two goals that, sh that were dis looked like they were going to be disallowed and they were allowed, so... Ah. 
can't get all the breaks. Take a few players off and rest them. Okay. Nice comfortable 4-0 win against the Scousers. Somehow they're top of the league, even though they were third before the game kicked off. So despite them losing, they're now top of the league. I don't know how that works. Ah, uh, okay. So you started at one with Girona. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Have you signed anybody? Anybody good? I hope you haven't gone Wonder Kid shopping again. I suppose you haven't got the money at Corona. Are they still are they still affiliated with Man City? Gordon. Oh, what a shot. Nally. Go on, Tenali. Oh, come on, we want another one. We want more. We want more. We want more. No, I'm happy with this. We might win. We've got a chance of win. I know this is a long shot, but we have got, we've still got a chance of winning the Premiership. We're only three points behind Liverpool, and we just beat them. They have got a game in hand, and so is Arsenal, though, so I won't too excited, and we might go on another bad run. Yeah, good idea. Build, build, build a, a younger team with, uh, you know, and then you might be able to sell them on for decent money. You might want to look at, like I said, at um, Africa as well. If you've got all African players loaded up and just scout um, some of the, so literally just scout all the African nations in the under 21s and stuff like that, and you'll probably find some good players from there. Because in Spain, I think African players don't class as foreign players or something, some, some sort of agreement they had in place. So it makes it easier for you to play African based players there. It might, it might not be, it might not be a case now, it might be different, but. Um, while I'm uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my new screenshot if I can quickly get this up. Right there we go. Uh, hold on, I need to get this up first. Right there with us. Uh, no, hold on, hold on. Bear with me. All right. I know I don't want that. No, I wanted this. Uh, right, just give me one minute. Uh, oh no, signed in with the wrong thing. Oh, I'll figure it out in a minute. Just give me a minute. We'll wait until internationals are playing, and I can I can show you there. I feel like I'm really getting to grips now with the starting to get there a little bit with the thumbnails. Hopefully, making better thumbnails. Right, Almiron's off. Didn't even realise he was going on loan. Going on loan to Villarreal could potentially make fifteen million from that deal. So that's all right. Dinner in his age. Don't give me a new contract and then just sign one. Right then, Josh, I'm going to ask you for your opinion on this in a sec. Right, just bear with me while I add this to this and Google. Google. Uh, yep, that's fine. Right then, Josh, what do you think of that thumbnail, mate? Any good? Think it looks better? Oh, that's good then. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's took me a while, but yeah, I'm hoping. I'd the problem I had was finding high resolution logos and things like that. So the ones I was using was looking tacky and they looking distorted and people were getting annoyed by it. So, and I think the font looks all right now. It stands out a bit and it's easier to read. So you, you got, obviously you got me in my, in my sexy Rafe Rovers shirt. So I'm hoping that'll be 
ready to go when I start my Wraith Rovers save at some point in the next few weeks. Yeah, like I said, I'll probably do... I've only done one... I'm in my second season with Everton. I might just finish it up after the second season. So, uh, see how I get on. That'll probably be... The Wraith Rovers save I'll probably start at some point next week. So feel free to watch that. Um, it will be a difficult one because I'll have no money. So uh, I literally got to stick with what I've got. I might just I might just do it as a youth only save and just sign the occasional free transfer Scottish player or something. So at least I can make some money in the Scottish Premiership. Not that there's much money to be made, but yeah. Yeah, the shirt's nice. That was the that was the mystery shirt that I got. Oh, I'm sorry. I've just I've just realised I've just been you've not been able to watch the uh, game. There we go. There you go. You can see the screen again now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I've got rid of it now. It's all right, mate. Is everything all right now? Can you see it? There you go. Uh, yeah. So I'll be I'll be Rafe Rovers in my next save on YouTube. So it'll be a lot. Difficult, more difficult. It won't be anywhere near. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm signing Neymar. Uh, Botman, you're not going. Uh, do I sign Griezmann? Uh, let's try. I don't think I'll have the wages for him. Oh, I have. I've got massive amount of wages. I'm signing Anthony Griezmann as well. Appeal Neymar. Hopefully the appeal will go through. That'll be fine. There you go. We'll have Messi, Neymar, and Griezmann up front next year with Son on the left wing. My players are very fickle. They moan at me for not letting Coot go. And then when I let Coot go, they moan at me for letting him go. I can't win. Right then. Line up for uh, New uh, Southampton game. Truven in goal. KOD on the right. Diomonde and EHO in centre defence with Livermento on the left. Botman in the middle of the midfield with Pedro Gonzalez, Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, and Gordon on left and Kuna up front. Uh, Neymar, I think he's 33 or something. He's not that old, but he'll probably retire in a year or two on the game because I can't imagine he's going to be staying in football for that long. Yeah, so I'll have Neymar, Messi... All right, Galacticos team for the for the last. I've got to have to do one more season, and I if I'm going to have them in my team. Oh bloody hell! I beat Liverpool four 0 and I lose to Southampton. That would be typical of uh, FM. Still fourth though. Come on, Liverpool's got two games uh, ahead of us. So you've had to go into work today, Josh. Even though you're not very well. Just stay at home. You could risk giving other people your bloody disease, you. Giving them your lurgy. Hello to everybody else in there. Also, just want to say thank you to the two people who have su subscribed to me on um, Twitch. Yesterday, I was stuck on 27 subscribers or followers. I think it's followers, in it? Followers for certain amount of time and now I've got 29 followers sorry not subscribers followers on Twitch so uh, yeah 21 away from being a s eligible for monetization on Twitch um so that's good seems a lot easier to get monetized on Twitch than it is on YouTube my watch hours on YouTube is not very good at all in the last two days I think I've had about four or five hours of watch out watch hours on my YouTube Yeah, you've had you have had quite a bit of time off work, haven't you, Josh? So I understand you don't want to lose your job, mate. But I mean, you've got to think about your health as well. See, if I was a boss and I had people generally ill, I wouldn't want them to come into work because I just wouldn't want them to potentially. Pardon me. I wouldn't want them to potentially risk giving my other members of staff an illness. But yeah, my old boss didn't care. He wanted everybody in, whether you're real or not. Oh, still losing. Had to make a few subs as well because a few players are knackered. 
Southampton look like they're going to score again. And Oh, Adosi, very good player. In fact, I'm going to add him to my shortlist for Newcastle. Oh, he already is. He's doing really well for me uh, in my Everton save. Come on, Newcastle, for God's sake. We beat Liverpool 4-0 and we lose to Southampton. That don't make sense. Come on. Let me try and get a goal here. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, O'Day. Passes it to Joe Linton. Joe Linton now to Pedro Gonzalez. Places it to Mbappe. Oh, go on, Mbappe. Not the Mbappe, unfortunately. I wish I had the money for the Mbappe. All right, so that's all the subs done. We've just got to hope for the best now. Uh, Southampton score again, though. We're screwed. So, still got time. Get an equaliser. Get a point out of this game, at least. Oh, bloody hell. Goalkeeper was a bit dodgy there. I've got that bloody white stripe song in my head now. Come on, come on. Ah, that's annoying. 2 1 loss to Southampton. We shouldn't be losing to them. We're still fourth, though. But um, we lost the chance to get second all, you know, second place, but still got plenty of season to go. Diaz injured. Diamande needs rest. Are you going into work tomorrow, Josh, or are you going to have tomorrow off? Got no wages now. There's Griezmann coming in, completely buggered us up. Let's shift all that over there. Only if uh, Randy or Elizabeth will come on here today, after yesterday. Randy seems to be quite a regular Follow over to me on here, so I appreciate that. I think other than Josh, I think he's my uh, my biggest fan. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, no, I appreciate I appreciate all the support people are giving me. You never know, Big Dan might turn up. Um, I think I want to keep him for now. I need to. He's very good. He's very good backup, to be honest. Reject all these bloody loan offers. Yeah, Neymar's 33, Griezmann's, Griezmann is 34. I mean, look at these attributes for Neymar. It's such a shame, isn't it? Um, he had a good season in Saudi Arabia last season, though. We got Burnley next game. Uh, no, we don't want to sell Mbappe, so stop. Is he on the transfer list? Because we keep getting bloody offers for him, and I don't want to. I need to sign him to a new contract, don't I? Oh, I can't sign him to a new bloody contract. Oh well, right. Uh, I don't don't want to. No. Right, let's take him off the loan list as well. That will, that will help. There we go. Sign you a new contract just so we can keep the pages one. Mancini, we could probably do with selling you just to try and get some money. All right, the centre backs. Uh, that one. Oh, 
like we've signed uh we've signed Neymar. There you go, Josh. We've signed the uh the legend that is Neymar. Any rate at two and a half stars. That's amazing. At least he's reunited with his mate Messi. There we go. I don't think he'll play very often. Um but we'll see. I mean he's a good option to have on the bench, isn't he? Yeah. The Barca boys are back. It's a shame uh Luis Suarez is a bit too old. I would have uh, brought him back to the club. Oh here we go. It's more like it. Here we go, we'll accept them. We do then funds to uh put in the wage budget. So we've signed Neymar and probably Griezmann. No guarantee we'll get Griezmann there. Right. So uh here's the team for the game against Burnley. We've got Truven in goal, Hakimi is back as right back. Uh, Nathaniel Phillips is in central defence with Botman. Hartman's back on the left back. Nally and Joe Linton in midfield with Messi on the right. Kuna in the middle. Pedro Gonzalez on the left and Osimhen up front. A strong team. Osimhen's getting injured a lot this season. He's not been playing as much, has he? How many games he plays? He's played like 13 games so far. So uh, maybe about the same. He doesn't tend to play a full season, does he? He's very injury prone. Maybe in the summer I might need to look at uh, bringing in another striker, I think. We're very light in the strikers department. There we go. Pedro Gonzalez. Oh, here we go. VAR comes to ruin it. Goalkeepers all the way over there for some reason. Come on, award it. Come on. Yes, go on, ref. I love VAR. Go. Neymar on the subs bench. Deli Ali's on the subs bench. Yeah, Neymar's on the subs bench. I might bring him on. Neymar would be a good backup for us men, actually, to be honest. But then Neymar's just as injury prone as him. Right, Messi. Have you heard, uh, Josh, have you heard the stupid rumours that Mourinho might be going back to Man United? He's either going to Man back to Man United or bloody Newcastle. Newcastle can have him. I do not want Jose Mourinho back at Man United. If Jose Mourinho goes back to Man United, I will not be following Man United while he's there. I hated him when he was there last time. And then my dad, who's a Spurs fan, was taking the mick out of me the whole time we had Mourinho there and, I and all that lot. And then, they and then he went to Tottenham and then my dad had to put up with him. And my dad was just as depressed as I was by the end of it. That was quite funny. But yeah, I don't want to go through that shit again. Yeah, he'd probably be good at Newcastle. I think the Newcastle fans would just embrace him, wouldn't they? Because they like to have a laugh, don't they? They'll probably just laugh with him. Plus, he's good, he's good for drama and stuff, isn't he? The way he kicks off with the refs. And the, like the post-press conference and stuff like that. I just think he's. I just think he needs to go into international management now. and manage it, uh, Portugal or Brazil or another national team. I, don't, I just don't think he's got it in him now to be a top club manager. Kimi, it's Joe Linton. Ah, oh, come on. Right, we got it back though. Kuna, Pedro Gonzalez. Oh, come on, get it. That's it. Keep it. Let's keep going. Come on, come on. Four oh. oh, balls. Oh, got another highlight. Messi with the free kick. Passes it to Kuna. What a shot by him. I thought that was going in then. Um, we win this. We will temporarily go second. Obviously, Liverpool's got two games ahead of us. Got to beat bloody Burnley first. Oh, 
Yeah, come on, is that inside the box? I think it was. Penalty, 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 penalty. Yes, go on. Messi lines up. Messi 99% of the time scores penalties, so hopefully this will go in. Yes, get in. Uh, I don't think it comes out the transfer budget, Josh. I can't remember. I think it comes out the wage budget. I could be wrong, though. Which, in theory, comes out. If it comes out your wage budget, that means it's going to less money for you to sign players. You're, uh, you, yeah, I think it's the case. You might want to Google it. I don't know for definite or ask on a on the forums. I can't remember for definite. Two one up. Doing well. Have you got all African players loaded up, Josh? Let me know, because I might have a player for you that would be a bargain. All right, Pedro Gonzalez with a beautiful pass and um, almost awesome him. Fails to deliver. All right, we're still 2-1 off. We third. Plays going, unless results change. No. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So you got no? Have you just got international players loaded up for Africa? Oh, Messi nearly with the free kick. Yeah, no, I, I know what you mean. Um, I'm lucky. I've got a, a really good gaming laptop, so I could, I've got the luxury of being able to have a big player database to play with, and then also, and it also still be quite quick. Go on, Messi. Din, 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 din. Ah, I thought he was going to keep going. Go on, then. Din, 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 din. Ah, nearly. Right, there's a few players knackered, so they're going to come off now before the corner's taken. Pedro will put on Anthony Gordon. Una will put on Neymar. Oh, no, we won't. Um, oh, balls. Um, what you were you. And then Messi will take you off and put the legend that is Deli on. There we go. All right, Tanani with the corner. Saved by the goalkeeper. Uh, Tanali's knackered. Babafi on. Babafi's doing well lately. And you're playing. No, we'll leave you because leave it as is. Uh, put you. Can we take you off. No, we can't. Right, we'll just leave it for now. Oh, uh, 10 minutes to go. We're still 2 1 up. Messi getting us the, uh, hopefully, the, well, maybe the decisive goal. A few minutes left. Let's try and close this game down. Nice little win. I'm still annoyed we lost the flipping the last game. We shouldn't have, we shouldn't have lost that one. Right. We're uh, third place now. We're three points behind Liverpool, and then five points behind Arsenal. Yeah, Delhi's never leaving this club. I signed him a new contract. He's never leaving Newcastle. He's retiring here. I don't care if he goes down to one star. He is staying here, and he's going to be playing regularly. Well, not regularly. He's going to be coming off the bench regularly. Neymar for life. Or life like NWO. Delhi World Order. There you go, Josh. Let's start the Delhi Alley New World Order. New, 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 new World Order. All right, Villa next game. Um, I'm, I'm going to rotate my players in the next game because of the fact that we're already losing 4 0. I can't imagine. Actually, do I? What do you reckon, Josh? Do I just play my strongest team? Uh, even though I'm 4 0 down, I think Deli Ali's got to play in the next game at least. I'm thinking Deli Ali, um, Neymar on the left, Messi on the right, Calvert Lewin up front, I reckon. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, Botman is good enough to be a regular starter, that is true. 
Yeah, I think we definitely need to get a world class. I think didn't we sign up? No, we didn't sign a world class left back, did we? We do need to improve the left back position in the summer if we do do another season. I'm swaying more towards doing another season with Newcastle. Ah, Griezmann doesn't come to us. That's disappointing. He went for the money, even though we offered him. That's ridiculous. I offered him 825 grand a week, and he rejects me to go to Saudi Arabia for 575k a week. That doesn't make sense. All right, Bruno's going to be back soon. That's good. Okay. My favourite league, French League. French League is the best league to play in ever. Followed by the Championship in England. I'll probably say that's my second favourite league. My least favourite league is the MLS. Because of the rules, because of the city rules. Right, this is what our, apparently our strongest lineup is. But I'm just going to put Deli Ali in for Una. Okay. Got a strong bench as well, actually. Um, I've done that quite a few times on an offline save, Josh. Um, I might do it though. Might do it though. The problem is, is when you do, when it comes to YouTube and viewers and and Twitch and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people switch off if you're playing. If you're not playing as a big team or a big-ish team, so. Like, for example, I've watched Lelujo, and he said himself that his views and stuff like that go down when he's not playing as a as an English team, for instance. So if he plays as a lower league team in a different country, his views and that go down massively. And Dr. Benji, I think, has said the same, but don't quote me on that because I don't want to think I'm talking about him when it's not true. Um, so I don't know for definite, but, yeah, it would be a good save. Um, but I don't even know how to pronounce that. Such, 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 such all. Oh, I missed the goal. I missed the goal. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I conceded. That's not good. Right. So, so, so sure. Okay. Fair enough. Is that how you pronounce it? Fair enough. Um, I always pronounce names as they're spelled. So I don't pronounce that as so chock, chocks, so chocks, so chalks. So chalks, which would really annoy the people who support that team. Right, good defensive play there. Villa are all over us again. We just they must be our bogey team in this one. Um I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna do well here. I think we're gonna get destroyed again. Right. I demand more. Um, oh, got a penalty. Even if we score this, we've still got to get like five goals in the, in the, in the, by the end of the match to really get through. I think it's a hard, hard one to ask. Oh, there we go, Deli Ali. Come on, Deli Ali. Oh, come on, Ali. You're not helping, you're not helping my case, are you? Oh, that's a shame. Pedro is knackered, so we'll put on Neymar. Right. Can we perform a miracle here? Might be in 5 0 down. Deli Ali is struggling. Okay. Take him off. Got to think about his mental health at the end though. We don't want him being feeling sorry for himself and that'll affect how he plays as well. Um right there. Right, see what we can do. Hartman. Yes, go on, Calvin Calvert Lewin. Oh, we'll go off ref. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, go on then. Right, only four more to go. Let's go. Comebacks on, Josh. Mancini. 
Yes, come on, let's go, Hartman. Neymar, Neymar with his silky Brazilian skills. Gets it down the wing, passes it. Yes, go on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, so they are 5-2 up in aggregate now. We've got to get four more goals in the space of 30, less than 30 minutes. It ain't going to happen, but if we get another one, it might be interesting. Neymar. Nearly, 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 nearly. Right, who else do we need to take off, I think? Oh, we, we can't take anyone else. Right, okay, let's just see what we do. Josh, keep your fingers crossed, you never know. Okay. Right, can they fluff this up now when we get another goal, make it a little bit interesting for the last bit of the game? If they score now, we're definitely out. Now, I mean, we're pretty much out now, but, you know, I'd like to try and stay positive. Come on, get the ball off them. That's it. Go on. Go on, KOD. Go on, Gordon. Go on, go on. That's it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Mbappe. Yes, go on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Right, let's just keep encouraging them. All right, we've got a free kick. Oh, if this goes in. Oh, 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 this goes in. We could get this to extra time, I think. Ah, saved by the goalkeeper. Good save. Come on. Hello to everybody else on the Twitch. Feel free to say hello in the chat. Hopefully you're going to watch the comeback of all comebacks. This will be better than... Um, is it the Barcelona comeback from a couple of years ago? I can't remember if it was Barcelona. I think it was Barcelona. Come on, Hartman. All right, get another one. Just before... Yeah, come on. Let's get another one. Oh, come on. Oh, balls. Offside. Oh, well. All right. Costa to Kaode. Kaode. Come on. We ain't, got, we ain't got time for you to build slowly. We need to... Yeah, we need to get a move on here. No, we're not... No, no. That, that was terrible. There we go. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, come on. This is not the time to be doing that. Ah, oh, well. I, I think it's pretty much over, everybody. We gave it our best try. We, if we hadn't conceded in the first half of this game, we might have had a better chance, but we done well. We did well. We got through. To, we, we, we beat him 3-1. We just, um, like I said, Hartman is to blame for us. Not getting. So, no domestic cups this year. I oh, know we're still in the FA Cup, so there's that. No Carabao Cup this year. But it was worth a try. Uh, that's that. Right, can we improve anything? No. Can we cash in any? No, no calls to cash in. Okay, so we just crack on now. We've got the FA Cup fourth round. Uh, if we lose to Brighton, then we've got no chance of winning any domestic cups this year. We're not in Europe. Where are we? Are we in Europe? No, we're not, are we? No. We don't have the league left. But at least I hope that might work out well for us because the other teams might be occupied with other competitions. So, Let's see. Playing your team next, Josh. Brighton. Hopefully they won't beat us. Ah, oh, Messi's injured. Bruce Pye. Wear me a grey white hoodie today, Josh. Because it's cold in my flat and I couldn't be bothered to put my Newcastle top on. Paul Mitchell, very good scout. Right. Had some money from the Babu going. That 60,000 60, will rescue us. Uh, we'll cancel that because he's not very good. One pound a year in 
Mm, I, I, I find that a bit suspect there, Josh, but if, it, if it's true, if it's true. Uh, fair play to you if it works out for you. I, I now use that. I'm an old man now. Last, last couple of nights, I've had a hot water bottle um, cuddled, up in, uh, cuddled up with me. Keep me warm. Oh, yeah, so that, that works out quite well. Right, here's the lineup. Uh, against Brighton in the FA Cup. We've got Costa in goal, Livermento on the right, Diamande and Echo in centre defence. Dante is left back, Botman in defensive midfield position with Joe Linton in midfield. Gordon on the right, Neymar in the centre, Calvert Lewin on the left, and Ossim Hen up front. Let's see how we get on. I recently, um, I got them today in the post. I recently purchased these. Um, Basically, it's these plasters you can put on your mouth to force you to breathe out your nose when you're asleep. So I'm going to try and give them a go when, I'm, when I stay over my girlfriend's house on Friday because the poor bugger has to have these earplugs in. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, Calvert-Lewin. Uh, my poor girlfriend, to, to be able to get a, a good night's sleep, um, I have to put up with my snoring. She has to wear these earplugs. But it hurts her ears. So, yeah, so I, 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 I was using these breathing strips, but they're not doing, they're not obviously very good. So I'm just trying these other ones out. But I, I'm worried that I'm, I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night gasping for air because they're, uh, they close your mouth up, basically. I'm a bit paranoid about stuff like that. I don't want to wake up having a nightmare thinking I can't breathe because I get really, I get really bad claustrophobia at times. Go on, Austin, then. So I'm really hoping. Um, but I don't wake up with a terrible dream thinking I'm sinking or something. All right, Inetcho with a corner. Yes, 2 0 Botman. There we go. That's what we like to see. We're thrashing your team. Yeah, I, I think they're, they're all right. They've been medically proven by hospitals to help with, with um, stuff like that. So it's not, a, it's not, I don't think you take the whole mouth. I think you just take the bottom part of your mouth, so you've still got the top of your mouth, but it stops you from snoring. Or it helps with stopping with the snoring. 3 nil. look at that. All right, in HO, Dante. Good ball. Ah, uh, lucky. Gordon now. Yes, go on. Neymar with his first goal of the season for us. All nil after 20 minutes, Josh. Your poor team. Do, 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 do. Four nil, comfortable win so far. Joe Linton weirdly with a six point six rating though. Um, yeah, very good so far. Oh my! Oh, I thought that was in then. I thought that was going to be one hell of a goal. Poor bloody Brian, I feel sorry for him in this game. Right, half time. Uh, I'm just going to do something for a second, so just bear with me. Uh, reply to this thing. Um, 
Just give me two minutes. I won't be long. Right, I'll start this second half. I'm just going to quickly finish, let you not watch it. Uh, I won't be commenting on it. Oh, I'm nearly finished there. Uh, what have I missed? Oh, 5 0. I missed Austin M's goal. I'm just going to quickly replay this. Sorry, everyone. I'm back. I'm back now. Back commenting. Back on this concert in the game. Austin M with us. Beautiful tapping. Very beautiful. Sounds sarcastic. Josh, was any, have you managed to get any other people to uh, watch me streams and that yet? Is your mate still busy? Oh yeah, Josh, I spoke to my girlfriend the other day and I said uh, me, and her could go, me and her could go to uh, the Brighton for a weekend at some point. Um, may not be this year, but some point in the, in the next couple of years. So uh, I'll finally get to meet you and we'll go out for a drink, mate. You and, you and your wife, we'll, you can, uh, we'll, we'll meet up with me and um, my, my, uh, my girlfriend and uh, we'll have a nice meal and we'll have a couple of drinks. We can talk about football and football manager and wrestling and then and they can talk about women's stuff. And when I say women's stuff, I don't mean um the you know, periods and stuff. I mean like dirty things. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um that Elizabeth added me on Twitter, by the way, Josh. I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming it's a real person. I just don't know. Her photos look genuine. Um, when, I, when she first came on there, I thought, oh, no, it's a bot or something. But she seemed all right there. She seemed really nice. Quite supportive as well, similar to you. Oh, there we go. Lovely little passing. Oh, we failed it there. Right. Neymar, oh, gets tackled. Is this player going to get sent off? Does. Makes our job a little bit easier. All right, we're 5-0 up for 63 minutes. Joe Linton will take him off. Ah, come on, Gordon. Right, who we got on the sub bench? Uh, hmm. Might might put Powell on in a minute. Ah, come on now, Rory Powell. Come on, for okay. give you your debut. That's five youth players now from the academy making the debut this season. Like the new Alex Ferguson, I'm going to produce a whole team of youngsters to play. Ellie yeah, Ali needs to come on, I think. He, he is on, isn't he? Is he playing? Oh, yeah, Deli Ali's playing. Right, Neymar. Oh, it's the post. Ah, oh, come on, Deli Ali. Well, we've got Mancini on up, up front for the last bit of the game. That's going to be interesting. Mancini hat trick coming up, Josh. You watch it now. Got a defender up front. That's how bad our striker options are at the moment. Found out today that my um my poor my poor mother is going to be sat on the same table with 
her ex-husband, my dad, and my uncle. I uh, I feel very sorry for her. Look, don't get me wrong, I love my dad a bit, but uh, yeah, he's hard work at times. Right then, pal. Gordon. Pal again. Yeah, Monday. Flips it over to Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin passes it to Neymar. Neymar gets his second goal of the game. Neymar's working out alright so far. A little sign in. Didn't cost us anything. Come on, let's just end the game now. It's getting a bit boring. Let's keep the clean sheet though. That's it. There we go. That's sorted. Excellent. Good performance. I'll, uh, I'll do the live. I'll do the FA Cup draw live. I'll send him out for a few for three to five days. Smile the name on. Praise you. Goku spotted. Who are not getting Botman. Uh, yeah. Get him to a new contract now. You can bugger off. He's going to be here forever. Um, the promotion that I used for YouTube finished today, I think. So um, I'll just quickly update you i've got 924 subscribers now i think 900 of them are bots though so not too exciting but um you know it's still if it helps me get actual subscribers it, it, it'd be worth doing yeah i need some or i need some actual real people to subscribe that'd be nice but that comes with time there's only so much i can do as long as i keep producing content that's all i can do Right, okay. I know it sounds really sad than saying this, but I'll tell you what, Hollyoaks was really good last night. Um the hour special they did. It was so good. Oh no, our financial situation's really bad. What's going on here? Why didn't the owner rescued me? Right, FA Cup draw, there we go. We'll do it. Automatic draw, there we go. That's what we want. Right, West Ham are playing Fulham or Liverpool. Everton are playing Cardiff. Blackburn are playing Chelsea. Not Forest, not England Forest, sorry, not Notts Forest. We're playing Newcastle, there we go. That's all we want to know. We're playing Nottingham Forest. Don't call us Notts Forest. That's all right, Josh. Don't worry. Yeah, Hollyoaks. It's uh, it's getting really good lately. Um, I I'm, 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 I'm a bit of a sado. I watch all the soaps. Um, I really like Emmerdale, which I've only been recent. I've only been watching for the last two years. But um, I really like Emmerdale. I'm really sad. So I watch classic Emmerdale in the morning, and then I watch the I watch Hollyoaks, then Emmerdale, then EastEnders, and then Coronation Street. And yesterday, I had to, yesterday I had to catch up with all the soaps that I missed because I was busy last week, so I couldn't watch them. One thing or the other. So yesterday I spent the whole day pretty much just watching the soaps I've missed before. But I really like the. Uh, the recent Hollyoaks episode, and then I've seen a trailer for what's coming up in the storylines wise, so it looks really good. So, fair play to them. Um, EastEnders is getting pretty good lately, Corey's always consistently good. Yeah, you uh, you want to talk if anybody's on here wants to talk about the soaps with me, feel free, chime in. Right, we've got Spurs next. 
it will be a tough game because they're fifth. Yeah, we're not going to get any extra scouts by the looks of it. Or any extra recruitment analysis. analysis. Probably maxed out all of them. So we'll try and remember not to bother asking for any more of them. Right. Um... Oh, Messi. Don't leave us. Oh, I wonder if we can convince him to stay. So Messi retires this season. That's a shame. End of an era, Josh. Messi's retiring. I suppose we've got Neymar. So it won't be too bad. Why are we accepting loan? No, I don't want to loan him out. Stop loan. Stop accepting loan offers. No. We need the players. We can't keep loaning out all our players and then having no players. Right, so we've got Tottenham now. So we've got Trubin in goal, Hakimi, right back, Diamande and Botman in central defence with Hartman on the left, Bruno and Tenali in midfield, Gordon on the right, Pedro Gonzalez on in the middle, Joe Linson on the left, and Kuna up front. Pretty strong team, not our, not our strongest team. I would say Gonzalez on the left, um, and Austin Heno up front would make our team stronger, but other than that, relatively good team. Yeah, he's definitely the greatest of all time. He definitely, as far as I'm concerned, as far as my generation goes, he'll go down as the greatest of all time. I wasn't around when Maradona and uh, Pele were alive. Going with the opening goal, good start after two minutes. Who, uh, who would you, Josh? Who would you say the greatest ever English player was? Would you say it's David Beckham? Would you say it's Wayne Rooney? Alan Shearer? Would you say it's Jude Bellingham? Maybe, when it's all said and done. Steven Gerrard, Lampard? Wayne Rooney, you reckon Wayne Rooney? Hmm. I think, to a point, yeah. But I think similar to like players like Michael Owen and stuff like that, he's... He, 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 he wasn't playing as well. Uh, I think he stopped playing well when he was about 27, 28. He still was all right. Um, but he's, yeah, same with Michael Owen. Michael Owen such a shame about him. Um, whereas I think Lampard and Gerard, I would say they were very consistent up until the day they retired. But I would say personally, I would say they would be better than Wayne Rooney. But, you know, it's open to interpretation. Everybody's got their opinion. Yeah, Skulls. Yeah, but Skulls, yeah, I suppose Skulls. I think Beckham, obviously, Beckham as well. His career uh, peaked at a certain level, I think. But then when he went to Real Madrid, I think after like a couple of years there, he started not playing well. I think by the time he was like 28, he, he really did. Like he had his moments. I still remember when he played at 34 years old or something, played for England, and he scored that free kick. He, Still, you can still see he did it. I think that's going to be disallowed, personally. I think he uh, timed his run wrong. We'll see. Is it going to be disallowed? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think if you can ask me, I think even though he's a Liverpool player, I would say probably Gerrard's probably the greatest ever English player, I think. Also, he, did, he was very successful. He won the Champions League. He, uh, Liverpool were very unlucky not to win the Premiership when he was there. He won. Oh, no, 1-1. One, one. Probably a bit of English players, and I just, just for some reason have blanked out, and I can't remember. Paul Gascoigne. I suppose Paul Gascoigne was up there, but then again, Paul Gascoigne, the problem with him was off-the-field antics ruined his career. I think he would have had a much better career if he then he wouldn't be probably half the player if he wasn't like that because I think he uh, played hard he worked hard but he played hard and, and unfortunately in playing hard got the best of him 
Still remember that goal he scored against Scotland in Euro 96 though. Right, Messi, who looks a bit tired, is cracking on with it. A little over the top ball to Hakimi. Hakimi with the pass and booted out. Nali. Yes. Go on, Joe Linton. Hello, Goku. Nice to see you again. Goku, who would you say the greatest ever English player was? There you go. Let's get some discussion going. I'm saying Gerard or Lampard. Um, my mate Josh, who's zone of Mr. FM, he says Wayne Rooney. Who do you reckon? I'm, I'm thinking like prolonged career success, and that's why I'm thinking Gerard, because he did win the Champions League with Liverpool, um, stuff like that. He was part of that golden generation of English players that we had that just didn't win anything. Oh, bloody hell. See, Harry Kane's an obvious one I never even thought about. I would have said Deli Ali personally. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, Harry Kane. He's a good one. Yeah, but Harry Kane hasn't won anything, has he? Let's be honest. So, as good of a striker as he is, Alan Shearer, at least he won the Premier League. Um, I mean, he will win the German League, for instance, with Bayern Munich. But, I mean, I could play up front for Bayern Munich and then win the title. Not a massive achievement. Um, don't get me wrong, I would say Harry Kane is probably the greatest striker England's had. Um, other than, I don't know, actually it's debatable. I, I don't know whether Shearer would have been a better striker. I mean, Shearer played for a very average Blackburn and uh, team and an and a okay, at times, Newcastle team. I mean, at times it was amazing he scored any goals for the team that Newcastle had. He literally single-handedly kept them in the league at times. Um, three points behind now. With, we're second in the league. We're three points behind. Oh, God. Gonzalez is injured, though. That's not good. Right, rest you, Dimonde. Yeah, Joe Linton played well that game. And he's not usual left wing position. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, Lampard did score a lot. Of, a lot of his goals were penalties, but I mean, he did. He was very. See, the thing is, though, everybody says about Lampard, but he was in a very successful um, Chelsea team that won that won a couple of titles and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, Wayne Rooney won a couple of titles. Don't get me wrong, as well. Um, Yeah, definitely Beckham. But then Beckham is a completely different player than what the roles are now. He, I don't know what Beckham, I don't know what position Beckham would have, would be now if it was a modern player. He wouldn't be an inside forward on the right wing. Would he be? He'd probably be like an advanced playmaker or something on the right wing. Um, you could. I mean, can can you still? Yeah, he'd probably still be a winger, I suppose. But winger's not really a position that's used very much these days, is it? It's it's either, it's either inside forward or yeah, probably an inverted wing back, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting offer for you. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I will accept that. Not that it does mean we're going to have to try and go for a right back now. Oh, God, yeah, Terry and Ferdinand, we were very lucky to have them. And we had a very good, I'm amazed the team that we had didn't win anything. That team now, if it come about now, would definitely win. Um, yeah, Rio Ferdinand, John Terry, Ashley Cole, Gary Neville's right back, and then. Who end up being right back for England when Gary Neville left? We have a consistent right back for a while. See, if we had like Trent Alexander Arnold or Reese James back then, 
when we were looking desperate looking for a decent right back. Now we've got too many bloody right backs. We've got Kieran Trippier. We've got, you know what I mean? We've, if we had one of them in the golden generation, we probably would have done better. Oh, God. Do we have Glenn Johnson as right back, or is it? Could have had Beckham as right back as he got older, couldn't we? That would have probably been pretty good. Pushed him as like a wing back. So like we could have, then again, we, we would have had to have three central defenders to play like the two wing backs, wouldn't we? So uh, that wouldn't work. I don't think I don't think we we had many good. I think we had Terry and Ferdinand, and then that was it, wasn't it? But oh, I suppose we had Sol Campbell as well, didn't we? He was pretty good back in the day. Yeah, Reese James is injury very injury pro. Like I said, I think the winger position is uh, is literally dead in football now, really. There's a few exceptions. There's like um, Ray Ore plays with Villa and players like that. There's a f they, they are like the old-fashioned wingers that take players on. But, um, yeah, oh, my God, we are struggling in midfield, aren't we? Um, hold on, why is Joe Linton not in there? There you go, you're going in there. My assistant manager, I, th I swear he's out to sabotage me. There must be a reason why Joe Linton wasn't in that team. Right, okay. So we're playing Man United next, and we've got Foster in goal, Coyote is right back, Phillips and Ineach in central defence. I don't know, Diamonde should be in there. Um, right, scroll down here. No. You play there. Already made this team better than our assistant. Uh, Hakimi on the left. Well, that's a weird one. And play left back, I suppose. Um, Tenali in midfield with Joe Lennon. Gordon on the right. Kuna in the middle. Neymar on the right, on the left, sorry. And Austin then up front. Let's see how we get on against Man United. Yeah, I'd say Joe Cole was overrated. I'd say he was decent at times, but um, I don't. I think he had like one good season at West Ham and maybe one good season at Chelsea. And other than that, he was not. He was not very good. Anyway, Goku, how's how's your day been, Goku? And have you been? What have you been up to? Been, are you working? Are you skiving work like Josh? <laughs> Josh, at this point, I, I should just if I had the money, I'd hire you as my uh, admin on here, and you can quit your job and you can just work for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not making any money yet. So, right, Tenali's injured. Can we not take any players off already? What's going on here? Why can't I take it? Why can't I put any subs on? Weird. Well, former former Newcastle United striker Callum Wilson went to Man United. How how has he done at Man United? Um, terrible, but yet he scores against us. Ah, fair play. Are you on holiday, or just, or is that is that where you live? Do you live in Spain? I can't remember. Have we had this conversation before? Um, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, went to the gym today. Oh my god, we're getting destroyed by my night. Right, we're gonna have to take players. Why can't we take what? This don't make sense to me. So I can't, I can't take off Tenali, but I can take off Austin M. Can someone explain to me why that is? Why can't I take... Oh, now I can take off bloody Tenali. That was a weird one. Right, let's demand more. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, my God. We're getting destroyed here. Absolutely destroyed. Right. Hello, everyone. Sorry about that. Just bear with us. Loading up. Um, long. Sorry about that, everyone. There. Gosh, Goku, are you still there? Uh, 
so twitch okay cool sorry about that Doku, you still there buddy thank you for everyone that persevered i do appreciate it if i missed anything did you chat were you chatting away where did we get to oh yeah you and goku should definitely uh do a network save you could do it like live on twitch or something Stupid bloody mic. Literally slightly touch it and it goes off, but then when it goes off, I have to I have to shut everything down. I have to turn off I have to restart my laptop and everything. There's no I've tried every everything else to not have to do that. I need to Google it. I need to take the, the mic back to CX to see if they can fix it because I think it's it's not the cable I'm using because I've used different cables. I think it's to do with the actual the where the cable goes in, the little pins in there, I think they're buggered. So um why am I hmm. why 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 can't you see me? Oh that's right, it's alright. It's alright, just ignore me. For some reason my switch was playing up there. Yeah, um, yeah, the mic's playing up. Right, so we're playing Norwich now. We sh we need to beat them. We've got Costa in goal, Kerder's right back, Diamande in EHO in centre defence, Hakimi on the left, Bruno and Tonali in the middle of midfield, Messi on the right, Bruno in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Calvert Lewin up front. But yeah, I can't move out of my sofa. I cannot literally move at all because it will knock the, the, the mic slightly. The only thing I can su su maybe do is, um, if it comes down to it, is oh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out offline later on. Any plans for tonight, Goku? Are you doing anything exciting? Nil nil nil. Bit of a depressing first half. Quite concerned that our two best players are our central defenders, which makes me think not reach. Oh no, they haven't had any shots though. Um, right. Yamande comes forward. Nally passes it in. Oh, okay. Josh, make sure you get back in, make sure you get into bed when you get home, you. You've been through the bloody mill lately, haven't you? One thing the the Paul saw. Right, Messi with the free kick. I mean, can he be the hero again for us? Lined it up, takes his sweet time. What's he going to do? Ah, uh, nearly. Ah, uh, fair play, Goku. Oh yeah, you work from home, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I um, I had a bit of a, a bit of a scare this morning. I basically checked my bank account and I had a, a payment from PayPal for ninety nine pounds. I was like, wonder what's going on here. I checked my PayPal. Basically, I tried to get a year subscription for Peacock um, because there was an offer or something. I think it was like sixty pounds, and I tried to pay it with my. Um, my PayPal credit card thing that they give you, but they didn't. They took it out of my bank account, and it wasn't sixty pounds. It was the four hundred and twenty, hundred and twenty dollars that they charge for the year subscription. So I've emailed them. Um, they haven't got back to me just yet. PayPal won't do anything. As they said even if you get your bank to cancel it, that means you're minus on your PayPal account. So they'll just take it off me out of the account anyway. Oh yeah, I'm stressing out because I'm not exactly full of cash at the moment. The only reason I did it was because it was on PayPal credit card, so I thought, well, I'll buy it and then I just pay it off gradually every month.
Yeah, I'm hoping that, like I said, I'm hoping that Peacock are uh, a bit understanding. Come on, Calvert Lewin. Can we get a late winner? Come on. Yes, go on, Anthony Gordon. That's what we want. We love a late winner here. Right, 1-0. That's what we want to see. Get back on winning ways. We're uh, third now. We're six points behind the other two, though. I'm happy with third. If we stay with third for the rest of the season, I'll be all right with that. Well done, Anthony Gordon. Right, Wolves in two games' time. Our players can't handle this schedule. They are getting so tired. Um, I'm going to rest everybody and give you two days rest. Oh, actually, that might backfire on us. Um, hold on. If you're going to give them two days rest, then that will give them one day rest. There we go. But again, two days rest. None of them would have been available for the next game, I think. So, just give them a day off training, and relax a bit. It's been a tough season for them, bless them. And obviously, we've got a lot. Of, we've got a fair, a fair few old players as well, so they get knackered easy. Um. Why are you not happy, Drew? Mote me from being, oh, whatever. He's just going to have to get over it. Who be signed in your, uh, your Spurs save then, Goku? Anybody good? Managed to bring Harry Kane back to Spurs. That's what I would do if I was Spurs manager. Bring Harry Kane back. Right, here's the lineup. The Wolves game. Costa in goal. Gusto is right back. Diamande and Botman in centre defence. Coyote on the left for some reason. Bruno Gomez and Tonali in midfield. Messi on the right. Brian Diaz in the middle. Gordon on the left. And Osman up front. Fairly strong team. Uh, bear with me while I'm going a bit quiet. I'm just trying to sort something out. I keep, I keep using up my uh, disk space because of all the files I've got. So I'm just trying to delete. I'm going to need to delete some of these. Freeze up some space. There we go. Got a little bit of space. I need to get um, an external hard drive, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pino was really good for uh, Pino was really good for me um, when I did my Villa Real save. I think I end up selling. He always goes. The reason why I went with Villa Real because every save I've done on FM twenty four, Pino just seems to go for like one hundred and twenty million or something like that. So I thought if I was Villa Real, eventually I would sell Pino. But I end up keeping him longer than I thought I would. They've got so many other good players at Villa Real. Bayena, Cuenza. Etc. Parijo, obviously some old players as well. Um, but they got some good young prospects there as well. Right, we're one 0 up. Gusto scored. Gusto again. To uh, Diamande. 
Yomende, sorry. Ayode. I don't know what he was tempting to do there. Um, apologize to anybody that was watching Twitch that, that um, come back. I do appreciate your support. Thank you to uh, Goku and Zona Mister for stand, uh, staying with me. Josh is used to me, so he knows that my, um, he knows my computer goes down. I've got to restart. There was times when me and Josh sat, try and do a network game on Football Manager. One of us had to restart our computer just so the other one could connect to the game. It was ridiculous. So we're used to it. Right, Nally. Messi. Ooh, worth a try. Right, Brahim Diaz, you're not playing very well, so you're coming off. Neymar up there. A little ball there, Ossinem. Joe Linton misses, unfortunately. Yeah, the, yeah, he seems to be a good signing for most people um, at 10 million on FM. I don't think you'd be able to sign him for that little amount in real life. I don't know. Maybe you could. I should try and sign Dybala for uh, Rafe Rovers, getting back in a pink shirt after he's, cause he used to play for Palam Palamo. I was kind of hoping that when I did that mystery shirt thing, when I asked for a pink shirt, I was really hoping for uh, a Palamo shirt because I'd have managed them, but no. Nah. Get Rafe Rovers. No disrespect to Rafe Rovers fans, by the way. Right, 2 0 up. What we like to see here. Nally, you're coming off your knackered. Harry Clark can come on. And uh, Messi, you're tired, so we'll put Amalia on. Spurs, very unfortunate in real life to have them injuries at the moment, aren't they? I mean, I, I I think you were the better team in the game, uh, the Man United game, personally. I do like your manager, though, because he just has... It, 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 I feel like he's a bit like Ian Holloway. You'll score four goals, even if you can see three, um, which keeps the games entertaining for the neutral as well. But Spurs used to be a really good team for me when it comes to doing my, um, my booking treble bets I used to do. The Spurs got some right dirty players in their team, similar to Newcastle. So, um, yeah, penalty to us. I've stopped gambling now. I, I rang up two days ago to get banned from all bookmakers. Oh, God. Yes, well done, Austin. Um, so I no longer gamble. When the fun stops, stop. I spoke to my mom today, and she said that she's a bit, a bit concerned about my brother's gambling, so I might have to have a word with him at some point. Right, we're cruising to this 3 0 win. Oh, Neymar loses the ball there. Um, if anybody else in the Twitch, the Twitch chat, and you want to say hello, you want to ask me a question, um, feel free to ask me anything. I am, uh, I, I'll happily talk about wrestling, football, football manager, life in general. If you're into your soaps, for instance, I can talk to you about them because I do watch the soaps as well. I was talking to Josh earlier about Hollyoaks. Uh, that was the highlight of the stream so far. Goku, do you watch any decent TV shows? What TV shows have you been watching lately? Oh, well done. Well done for winning the Euros with England, by the way. Right, what time is it now? Half three. So we'll we'll play for another we'll play till half four. Oh, you don't watch much TV, fair enough. Lately I've just been watching I've been watching more and more stuff on uh, YouTube more than actually watching TV itself. I can't just sit there without watching nothing though. I'm not one of these uh people that can just sit there and read a book. It's just not my uh, my thing. Right. I wanted to report that Lionel Messi Lionel Messi has come to the final decision regarding his future. And despite his early uh, announcement that he was considering retirement, he feels he still has something to offer at the club and now see how his contract... Oh, get it. We're doing another season, everyone. We are doing another season. 
We retire. I'm retiring when Messi retires. Get in. Let's see if I can get him a new contract now. When it's time into a... No, he won't. Excellent news. Messi, come on. That's what we like to see, Josh. Sticking by us. I already know what my headline's going to be for my uh, when I uh, post this on YouTube. Will Messi retire? Question mark. It will entice the people to watch it then. Ideally, what I need to do is edit these videos just like I do with the the other ones, but I, I can't bother. I'm too lazy. Yeah, so we'll be on now until half four. I've still got to um, edit a couple of videos to post tomorrow for tomorrow and Friday. And then um, I've got to upload today's stream, edit that and upload it as well. I've got a busy night ahead of me. I say busy, I'd, it, it, it's not that hard to edit the videos. I can watch TV while I'm doing it as well. Oh, I nearly flipping simulated that much because I weren't paying attention. Right, so we're playing Fulham next. Costa in goal, Hakimi is right back, Inecchio and Botman in centre of defence with Peody on the left. Sonali and Joe Linton in the middle of midfield with Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Gordon on the left and Kuna up front. All right, one nil down. Not not ideal. Never seem to win like more than two games in a row. That's annoying. Yeah, I think Man City are going to leapfrog us as well because they've got three games more than we are. We lose this. Yeah, come on, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get the equaliser. Oh, come on, Gordon. Gordon, the ginger assassin. Even though he's blonde. Um, bit of a quiet game. Sorry, I'm just having a bit of a lull at the moment. I I've just I feel a bit lethargic, feel a bit tired. Trying to keep trying to keep my energy levels up. I had a kind of monster really, you'd think I'd be alright, wouldn't you? I don't normally stream for this long, so maybe it's because of that. I'm usually finishing up like four o'clock. So, uh, thank you for everybody uh, sticking with me. Do appreciate it. Goku, have you followed? Are you following me on Twitch? I assume you are. I appreciate you following me. Same as you, Josh. Goku, if you do, you have any friends that are that like watching football managers on football manager content creators on Twitch and that? If you do, can you, uh, you know? Um, see if they'll follow me. Let them know about my journeyman save. Maybe that might be interesting for them to start watching me when I do that next week. Hopefully, yeah. No, I appreciate your support. Yeah, cheers, Goku. I do appreciate it, mate. Uh, if you know anybody that might be interested, or if you're in any football manager groups or Discord channels, um, if you don't mind. Sharing the link to my Twitch or my YouTube as well. Um, much appreciated. Obviously, don't stress too much if you don't want to. I'm not going to like keep bugging you about it. Uh, all right, Cole Palmer, you can come on. 
Uh, we got any left backs? No, we haven't. Nally, you can come off then. We'll put uh, Clark. You're not playing well, Messi, so we'll put Neymar. Uh, it's okay, mate. It's all right, Goku. I appreciate your support, like I said. Um, I mean, yesterday, you missed it yesterday, we had a, a lovely woman called Emily who just come onto the stream because she was a fan, she used to be a fan of Rey Mysterio. So um, she stayed on the stream for most of the stream, um, chatted away with me and Josh, and seemed really nice. I thought it was I thought it was a robot to start off with. I thought this can't be real, but she's um, chatted me on a on her Twitter, so I had a little look, and she does look quite legit from uh, from California. So I was talking to her about California and stuff like that. But obviously, when I think I think she just come across it when she was waking up because um, it was like nine a.m., ten a.m. in America when she when she come on here. But probably about probably about like midday now in America. I think I think they're five hours behind us. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, nice to have a female follower. Oh come on! I thought we were turning this game around then when we got that equalizer. Typical, right? Graham Diaz. Almeida can come on. Brilliant, and you can come on. Mbappe can come on. Right, I'm brightening the players. I'm not happy. Come on, let's get. Can we get second goal? Can we at least get a point out of this game? That that was just that was just ridiculous. Messi. Was it Messi? I don't think it was Messi. Come on. Get an equaliser. Get at least get a point out of this. Let's try and keep our top four dreams alive for now. KO is knackered. Now, KO day. Can I take you off? No, I can't. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, that's annoying. I'm sick of losing to these rubbish teams. Fulham, bottom of the bloody league, and we're losing to them. We're third. We're third. We shouldn't be losing to bottom of the league. So, yeah. We, yeah, our new hope now is to try and get top four. I mean, that's looking highly doubtful at this point. We need to go on a bit of a run now. Let's just go through this. Right, I'm going to see. If, I think it's too soon after the last one. Uh, there it is. Team meetings. Brood. Yeah, it's too soon. Nothing we can do. we just got to hope for the best that we win the next couple of games. Any football matches on today? And United's you know, not playing until the 1st of uh, February now. Got a few FA Cup games. No games worth watching as far as I'm concerned, though. So, yeah. Yeah, Man United aren't playing until the 1st of February. When are Spurs playing again, Goku? Any idea? Um, I don't, I don't have much to talk to my dad about really because we don't, we don't. I mean, he does the same thing every day. I do the same thing every day, so we struggle for new things to talk about. One of the things we do talk about is football, because um, he's his first fan. I'm my ninth fan. So if they're not playing um, next couple of weeks, when I ring him, it's going to be, going to be a tough, tough conversation to have with him. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look for you. Right, Tottenham. They are... Their next game is... You're playing Man City on the 26th. So you haven't got a game until uh, next Friday. 
you're playing them at 8 o'clock on a Friday night. There you go, Man City, God help you. Hopefully by that point they'll get that points, points deduction, it might knock their confidence. Fingers crossed. It's been a, it's been a quiet, quiet January transfer window, hasn't it? There's not been many signings. I still remember the days where, um, like I said, January transfer windows were really exciting. The last couple of years have been, a, since COVID, basically, they've been a bit boring, haven't they? Not really much has happened. Yeah, Madison is, makes a big difference to your team, doesn't he? Okay. Uh, I spoke to Anthony Gordon and he's happy, even though you're not okay, that's fine. Bruno out for a few days. Uh, not long now until we play Bournemouth. He's done better at Tottenham than I thought he would. If I'm honest with you. I thought he would be end up being a, a failure at Spurs. I, don't, I didn't think he'd be able to make... I know he was, he was a good player at Leicester. I just didn't think he'd make, be able to make the step up. But no, he's done well. I really enjoy watching Madison anyway. Former Coventry player, so... I'm a little bit biased as Coventry is one of my favourite teams. I managed to, uh, I did, I did a save with Coventry on FM 20, 22 or 23, and I, I, I did about five, I did about six or seven seasons with them, and I managed to re-sign Alan Wilson and James Madison for Coventry. That was my aim of the save, is to basically sign them. They were my two big signings I wanted to make as Coventry manager. Quite happy with that. Right, so we've got. Costa in goal, Costa is right back, Phillips and Diamande in centre defence with Coyote as left back again, Bruno and Joe Link in the midfield, Messi is right wing, Raheem Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Austin Hen up front. Yeah, he does need to be playing for England, but then Southgate is known to play the same players over and over again. He doesn't really like playing players, new players, does he? Which is a shame, really, because we've got a lot of good young English players coming through now. Um, and with the right manager, we could basically build a team for like future tournaments. Um, we've still got some good players in the current England team that obviously can do the, do the job, like Kane and Rashford to a point and stuff like that. But we really do need to, every tournament we need to be bring, we need to have like four or five fresh faces in the team. I'm still wounded that we didn't win the Euros. To lose to Italy on penalties was just infuriating. Especially as like Italy, as soon as they got that equaliser, they just literally just played the penalties, didn't they? So obvious what they were doing. And like I, I, I was just amazed we didn't win because Pickford, I think he saved like two or three of their penalties, but we still bloody lost. Pickford should have been getting um, a knighthood at this point. He, he, he would have won us the Euros alone for that, that uh, penalty save and display, but yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. But who's going to take over as England manager when he leaves? Eddie Howe, maybe. Might be a decent manager appointment. Um, I don't know who else, really. God help us if we have Steven Gerrard or Wayne Rooney or Frank Lampard as our manager. It wouldn't surprise me, though, if there's lack of options. They might not have any choice. No, no, look, though, somehow if we had Wayne Rooney as manager or Gerrard, they would somehow win us the World Cup, wouldn't they? You'd just see it happening. Come on. Oh, dear, now. Losing to bloody Bournemouth now. This is where we start to like drop out of it now, I think. Maybe I won't. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's try and stay positive. Try and turn things around this game first. Okay, we've got a corner. Messi. See you Monday.
Yeah, I think the reason why we stuck with Southgate for so long is because we haven't really got anybody else lined up. We, we are struggling for English coaches. Not that you need to be English to be... Yes, go on, equaliser. Oh, here we go. Uh, not that you need to be English to be England manager. I know Brazil like to, to only have Brazil manager coaches as their national team boss. Oh, come on, we needed that goal. Um, I just I just used the wrong shout there, that's annoying. Uh, another loss. But yeah, I think you got Eddie Howe, Graham Potter maybe. I don't know if Graham Potter wants to be England manager. I think I think he just probably wants to maybe go stay in club football still. They are really playing badly. Right. I'm going to change things up. I'm going to use the tactic I use for Everton. So we'll do load. Let's hope the change of tactics works for us. That's me. There we go. I've got like about a thousand tactics in here, so it's going to take me a while. Everton. There we go. This is the tactic I use for Everton. Does it? Would it work out well for the players we've got here? Yeah, sort of does. So we've got the. This is how it would line up. Yeah. We're going to give that a go. And then what we'll do is we'll... So he's a wing-back defender, so we'll just change it up. Um, but we'll do that at the next game. Yeah, that's true. But um, I don't think Gerald's got a club at the... He's not managing anybody. Is he still managing that Saudi Roman team? I thought he left. I think he's left. I know Jordan Henderson's left. He's got his he's mooch had his contract terminated at the Saudi Arabian Club. He's on the verge of going to Ajax, I think. I'm surprised like a premiership team hasn't gone for him really, to be honest, because for the role that he does as a central midfielder, I mean he is pretty good. No, I don't think Gerard's there anymore, mate. I'll have a look. Hold on. Right, let's have a look. Oh, no, he is still there. I apologise. He is still there. Yeah. No, he's still there. I apologise. I, I was I was certain he got he, he left or got sacked. Right, let's uh, see if our new tactic works out well for us. Hopefully it will. Do with him as our left back, Anthony, Robin Anthony Robertson. Is it Anthony Robertson? Andrew Robertson. I apologise, Liverpool fans. Maybe I'm getting Gerard and Henderson confused. Maybe I was like in my head thinking Gerard left as well. Yeah, Gerard should just stay there for the rest of his manager career. He's earning shitloads of money, and sorry for swearing, he's earned loads of money there. Um, he doesn't need to be. There's not going to be as much pressure there than there would be if he's managing in England. I think part of him probably regrets leaving Rangers. It didn't turn out very well. It's it started okay at Villa. He, he had his his games where he did well there, but it just didn't work out well. And then you got Unai Emery, who's just so much better as a manager. Right there, let's uh, let's see who we're playing. So either Russell Notts, Nottingham Forest playing Blackpool. Oh, that's good. And then Wrexham. Wrexham's in the bloody FA Cup quarterfinals. Fair play. They're playing West Ham. Man United playing Blackburn. Everton playing QPR. So really, 
We've got a decent chance of getting to the final with these teams here. Then again, with the with the form that we're in, probably lose to Wrexham. Right, we're playing Nottingham Forest now. New tactics, so this could this could go one way or another. We're going to try and use everybody in their best roles with this one. This is what I usually do. Um, so, or oh, there we go. Your Monday is he a wide centre back? He's a ball playing defender. Pop him there. In HEO, wide centre back defend. Fine, Botman, wide centre back defend. There you go. Aode, wing back defend. That's fine. Oh, hold on. Balls. Um, Akimi, the wing back support. So we'll change that. But it will take us a little bit longer to set this up every game, but we'll work out well. Four winning midfielder defend. Bend. Bruno is a deep line playmaker defend, so it's going to be a little bit more defensive actually, if anything, which might actually work out well for us. Messi is attacking midfield support, but what's he on the wing? Fans playmaker support, so we'll use that, we'll use his best role for that one. Pedro going inside forward support. Da, da, da. Right, and I'll see him. I think you are an advanced. I oh, know you're a poacher. There we go. I haven't played as that's an old school role. That is a poacher, isn't it? Right, okay. So this could either this can go one way or another. We'll soon find out. Keep your fingers crossed. What do you reckon is gonna happen, Goku? Do you reckon it's gonna work out well that tactic I'm using? Do you think it's gonna go absolutely pear shaped? I mean, at least if it doesn't work out on in this game, uh, at least I'm at least I can probably switch it up a bit. But we'll see. That's not that's that's ah uh, Jesus Christ! One minute, one minute. Uh, someone, if someone can clip that, I can put that on TikTok. That'd be quite funny. Right, Tenali lobs it over. Akimi. Passes it back. Botman takes his sweet time. Bruno, Akimi. I feel like we're a bit nervous here. I feel like we just we don't know what to do. Botman with the over top ball to Akimi. Akimi back. Bruno. This is very this is very very boring watching this. Right. Okay. Oh look at that. I'll see him. It's not a poacher goal, mate. I was outside the box. Not complaining there. Oh, they had a goal disallowed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realise they had a goal disallowed. Goku. That's quite funny. Um, okay. Right. Oh, because I don't think there's v I don't think there's VAR in the FA Cup, is there? That's good. Right. Oh, that was a lovely little dummy by uh, Pedro. Akimi drives it forward. Oh, 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 there we nearly. Right. That's it. Get it back. They throw it. Um, their goal kick basically threw out by their goalie. Well, let's get the ball off him. Let's get the ball off him. Come on, let's get the ball off him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, balls. I can't believe Evan Ferguson's gone to Nottingham Forest. Baffles me. Yeah, I will encourage shots eventually, I think, to be honest. Um, I, they've got that goal disallowed as well. Bloody hell. We've been, look, we've been lucky in this game, haven't we? Oh, is that goal going to be allowed? Come on, can that be disallowed, please? It can't be that unlucky to have three goals disallowed. Yeah. Right, let's try encouraging the players. Oh, I need to yeah, but I can't, I can't, I can't get into the mask. <laughs> oh, their corner. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, okay. I think this tactic will work out well in the end, though. I think it will, will improve our team. Just may take us a few games to get used to it. Right, Calvert Lewin's come on for Ossinem for some reason. I think Ossinem was knackered. Um, Calvert Lewin, I think he's pressing forward. So we'll change that. I'll have you as a pressing forward. 
pressing forward, support, back, sorry. Okay. See if that'll make any difference. Yes, go on, Calvert Lewin gets a goal already. Super sub. Get in. Calvert Lewin, our FA Cup hero. Can you get another one? Let's see. Yes, oh, look at that. Calvert Lewin, get in. Josh, are you still there? Are you watching it? You, you're probably not. Watching my comeback of all comebacks here. This is what you get, Goku, when you stay here and watch this. You get entertainment, pure entertainment. 2 0 down and now 3 2 up. Thanks for that super sub, Albert Lewin. DLC, as they like to call it. Oh no, DCL. DCL, not DLC. Uh. Make some substitutes in a minute. Wait for this. Nottingham Forest will probably score this. No, they don't. Lucky. Right. Okay. Messi, you're coming off. Put M Diaz and then we'll put Gordon on. Yep. Okay. Make another substitution. Right, I just need to make another one. Wait for that to happen. Yep, got ball. Bruno. Raheem. Calvert Lewin. Lovely little turn. Ah, oh, that Gordon should have done better than that. Right, okay. So let's. So he is. Winger attack. Over there. Winger attack. Gordon, you are a winger support. So we'll do that. Joe Linton, you are a ball winning defensive player. Okay, um, Tally, is that you? I think that's it. I don't think we made any other subs, did we? No. Okay. Right, let's see out this game now. Keep our uh, FA Cup journey. Yeah, it, it's always good to get a comeback, especially in the FA Cup as well. FA Cup's always known for things like that, so that's good. We did well there. New tactic worked out well. Playing Blackpool in the semi-final, I think. Semi-final? Quarter-final. I apologise, quarter-final. Right. What time is it now? Okay. We're all right for a bit. Thank you for uh, sticking with us, Goku. Hope it's not been too. I hope it's still been entertaining to you. Son's back from injury. That's good. We need him. I don't regret signing Son, but I do wish he played a bit more. We did. We did spend quite a bit on him. No, cheers, Goku. I do appreciate it, mate. I like having regular followers that come in. It's nice to just chat to them. I like having new people following me as well, obviously, because, you know, but yeah, it's nice to see people returning and enjoying the content. Have you, um, have you had a chance to watch any of the Everton series yet um, on my YouTube? No worries if you went. I just thought I'd ask. Oh, uh, yeah, fair play. Are you enjoying WWE at the moment, then? Have you been getting back into it recently, then? Is it because of me? <laughs> Did I get you into the, back into WWE? Oh, 
Right, we've got Leicester next game. Hopefully we'll get a few decent players in the uh, youth intake. Help bulk up the squad a bit. Like I said, I've given six youth academy players debuts this season, so that's not too bad. He's a pretty good player, to be honest. I'm, I'm going to sign him. Not a bad price, 2.6 million. I was in the the was in the hell um the uh, mankind undertaker classic hell in the cell match that was like horrific and never should have happened but yeah that one or Mick Foley fair play to him being committed to the cause but the the effects it's had on his um his body it weren't just that match he's he crazy he's had so many crazy matches crazy things he's done in matches as well so um but yeah that match. You do a fair bit of damage to him. His poor kids as well that have to watch that. I oh, know I'm getting that confused with the uh, the match he had with the Rock in it. The match with the Rock that he had that the, the, that his kids were crying their eyes out. The poor, poor kids watching their dad getting the hell beating out of them. Yeah, if you um, you should um, you should give Mick Foley's podcast a listen. Um, he's even though he's not got all of his, even though he's not his memory's not the best because of all the damage he's done. Um, he's quite entertaining, and um, the 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 person that does it with him as well is his host. They're pretty good at bouncing off each other as well. But yeah, it's a pretty good podcast. Fo Foley is good podcast. Um, yeah, definitely recommend it. Definitely worth a listen. He goes. It, there is one episode where we go in in depth into the Hell in the Cell stuff like that. The Hell in the Cell much, so it's it's definitely worth a listen if you have the time. It's obviously if you have the time. It's all good me saying it because I've got all the time in the world. Right. Um, let's just see if we need to tinker with anything on here. Yeah, Joe and ball playing. No, not the Monday is only. So we just need to swap them about. Okay. Uh, they, then Cody. Fine. Bruno. Yep, that's fine. Ali. Yep, that's fine as well. Stun. Is he an inside forward? No, he's not. He's a wing. Oh, no, he's a. Oh, well, yeah. This is a new role I haven't used before. Uh, Rudolomentel. No idea what that does, but yeah. Messi is an advanced playmaker, so that's fine. And then there's a poacher, so there we go. Right, let's see how we get on. Another good podcast is while he while he was doing it for a while was to a point William Regal, but he from when Re William Regal he got he got he'd go on a tangent and get and get lost halfway through. But he, he had some interesting stories and funny stories and things like that. Um, but then he got a bit like moaning about current day wrestling and moaning about people in... Mo uh, yeah, so um, not good. But it was worth... It, it, at, at its times, it's worth a listen. I listened to um, Cultaholic. It's a podcast called... Yes, go on. I listened to a podcast called... Holic, they also do YouTube videos. They're really entertaining, they're really funny. British lads, a bunch of lads. Um, also, they've got um, Mafu, who does the Botchamania series. He does um, some of the, they, they do recaps on, classic recaps on WWE shows. So, like, they do like WWE recaps from 2001, 2002, and stuff like that, which is probably when you used to watch it. So, and they're really entertaining and quite funny as well. And then they just go off on random conversations about things that don't involve wrestling. Um, the Cultaholic's good. There's another one called Wrestle Me as well. Wrestle Me is another good podcast for like um, 
they, their unique take on it is you've got one guy who's really into wrestling and then the other guy who's never watched wrestling before. So, you, so he watches it. So he has like a new perspective. So it's like it's, it's quite an interesting dynamic between them. So it's very entertaining as well. Get in 2-0. This new tactic's working a treat now, isn't it? Yeah, they're the podcasts I listen to. Um, but it's a good little. It, it helps when I go for when I walk to the gym and that because I walk an hour to the gym every day. So I listen to a podcast, do my workout. By the time I've done that, podcast is finished. But it keeps me entertained because otherwise it's quite boring when you go for a walk. Do you listen to any podcasts? Goku, any interesting ones? Either wrestling, football, or just other podcasts in general? I used to watch Joe Rogan's podcast all the time, but I got a bit fed up of him going off on it, going off on his own tangents about society and stuff like that. I only liked it when he had the uh, interesting guests on, like the scientists and things like that, because I'd always learn something new. Lovely little 2-0 win. Uh, I think we've turned the corner now. I think we're going to start back up that league again. Right, how many games we've got left though? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six. So six times three is 18. So 18 plus 55, you're looking at 73. So we've still got, mathematically, we've still got a chance of winning the Premiership, but we ain't going to do that. Um, could, we could get Champions League players, hopefully. That's the aim, is get top four, I think. If I don't get top four, that's it, the save's done. Start my journey, man, save next week. Much as I want to. I might just keep this as an offline save. Uh, I'm quite enjoying it, to be honest. I don't really want to say goodbye to it yet, but I think for content purposes, I think it's done. After this season, maybe. Oh, okay, fair enough, mate, yeah. You probably have more of a, you're probably more busy with with work and stuff than I am. I don't have a job, so I've got all the time in the world to do that. The only thing that doesn't benefit people not having a job is the financial side of it. I think having a job is just soul soul destroying as far as I'm concerned. I've had I've had all sorts of different jobs and I've never really been oh my god. I've just accidentally released fucking I've just mutually released Delhi Ali. Oh that's so annoying. Oh, that's upset me now. Can I sign him back? No, I can't. Oh, that's upset me. I could technically reload the save, but I can't remember. I don't think I've got the save point. Have a look at preferences. I don't think it's weekly. I think I changed it. So we had to go back quite far. Oh, that's upset me. Three months, yeah. So I can't even reload the save. Oh, end of an error. End of an error, Josh. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. That is that is upset me. I'll message Josh later. Let him know. That definitely needs to be a clip, by the way. That's up there with uh, Work the Space accidentally resigning on the network game save. That's hilarious. Goku, do you watch any other FM content creators occasionally? I can recommend you a few if you ever if you ever want to. Uh, depends on what you like. If you go for entertainment and that, um, Lelujo is a good one. Lelujo, L O L L U J O, I think. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember. Um, Work the space is very entertaining as well. Zealand is very good. Um, he he has a unique aspect that he is an American playing football manager, which you don't see very often. So he's pretty good. Um, He's really good with the tactical side of things as well. Plates is another guy on. Um, Dr. Benji is good. Uh, you're probably thinking of Dr. Benji if you can't remember his face. He's not done much for a while though, unfortunately. I think he's going through a few personal things, I think, which is a shame because he's one of my favourites, but he's got to focus on him first and foremost. And I think he's more doing he's doing more the GTA roleplay stuff now anyway. So um yeah, Lelujo. Plates is another good one. Uh, Omega Luke. He's a pretty good one. Tom Tom FM. He's done really well, Tom FM, because he recently got 
he's recently able to do this for uh, the YouTube stuff full time. So he makes a living from it. So fair play to him. We've only got two players worth worth offering a contract to, but they're pretty good. Especially this one, bloody hell. He played for the first team already, he could. Oh no, that's a shame, he's unambitious. We need to get him in a mentoring group, we need to change that. Right, what time is it now? Right, we've got enough time for one more game, I think. Oh no, we'll, we'll, two more games, we'll do, two, we'll do this and we'll do another league game. Then we'll call it a day, and then tomorrow we'll finish the stream. Uh, finish the series, I think, depending on how we do. Right, we've got Trubin in goal. He's sweeper keeper defence. We need to change that slightly. Uh, need to change them to about Nietzsche. Fine. Hotman is as well. Gusto, is he a wing back defender? Oh, he's a complete wing back support. Change that. Complete wing back support. Oh, Hartman's back. We've missed him. He's been quite consistent for us. Wing back defender. Need to change that slightly. There we go. Joe Linton is a ball winning defender. So that's fine. And he, Diaz, is best role in that position. Sala. That makes it a little bit more creative in middle middle of midfield. He is inside forward support. Gordon in the support. And then Austin M up front. There we go. Oh, cross, header, uh, Gusto, Joe Linton, Raheem, oh, he rattles the bar, header it out for a corner to us, a lot of action in the space, in the space of 30 seconds there, first 30 seconds of the game, corner, saved by the goalkeeper, uh, Brahim Diaz, Oh, he hits the bar again. He's hit the bar twice in, in the first two minutes. I don't think I've ever seen that on FM. You, you, what, you learn something new every day. Gordon to Hartman. Hartman to Gordon. Lovely little goal there. Right, Hartman. Great little header by Ossinem. Two 0 up. Most comfortable win against Blackpool. What we'll do, I think, I think I will probably call it a day after this game. To be honest, I'm quite tired now. Sorry, Goku. Um, but thank you for uh, staying with us the whole time. Appreciate, it. Josh. If you're still here, hello again, my friend. I hope I hope you you have a nice evening. Thank you again for your support as well. Oh, uh, come on. Let's uh, let's get another one. Um, that's a bit sloppy. Come on, yeah, get it back. There we go. He just ran into their defenders then, that was ridiculous. Right, Gusto. Oh. Yeah, good goal. Austin then with his hat trick in the 30 in 32 minutes. You say you were just chilling this evening then, Goku. Anything exciting planned? 
I can't remember what you said, mate. Sorry. I think you just said you're just relaxing, aren't you? There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. I, uh... I enjoy doing nothing but sitting on my ass all day as well. Not that you've been doing that today, obviously, but that's what I enjoy doing, <laughs> just sitting on my ass. That was a good goal by then, fair play. Shot. Ah, uh, getting interesting. This FA Cup game. Manned a bit more. Right, Hartman's knackered, so take him off. Let's finish it up. Dante. I oh, know that's fine. He's happy in that position. Anybody else that's come on that we need to swap their roles? No. I'll be happy to take this mask off. It's itching my bloody face. That's it, yeah. No, don't blame me, mate. Do you play any games other than Football Manager? Is there any other games that you play? Do you play EA? EA football, I can't, we can't call it FIFA anymore, can we? Even though it will always be classed as FIFA to me. Right, hopefully we can see out this game. Right, have we got another goal in us? Uh, no, we haven't, but there we go. We've still got possession. Right? Let's run the clock down now. Ah. Hotman, Ossinem, Gusto, yeah. yeah, I much prefer doing Twitch because on YouTube you can't bounce off anybody when you're recording the video. I could do it live I suppose, but um, yeah, much happier, oh nearly. Yeah, I hate I hate FIFA what it's become because it's literally just do the same transitions on the game and you, and you score and then all the people know how to score the goals. Whereas when I used to play it, we just we just kind of hoped for the best and we just went a bit crazy and gun ho and it was more entertaining because it was more back and forth. But uh, yeah, it's a bit more like this is how you can score. Do this and you'll score, and it just doesn't it doesn't feel like the same game to me. We picked a, a good time to. Nearly finish off. I'm just going to do the FA Cup draw. There we go. And then I'm going to call it a day. So West Ham are playing Man United. So we're playing Everton. That's good. So if we win, we either play West Ham or Man United. So um, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you to Goku. Thank you to Josh. Um, I can't remember if anybody else was on there. I don't know. Well, so well, they might have turned up but not said anything. So thank you to everyone. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Goku. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Josh, if you're still there. Thanks again. Um, and all the best. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.